The megalithic complex of dolmens in the River Gore Valley in Granada province is one of the largest concentration of dolmens in Europe. And just what gave the Neolithic people the idea to build these monumental structures is a fascinating story. Strictly speaking, the burial chambers here at Gore are actually passage graves and chamber tombs. A dolmen, a true dolmen, is formed of orthostats which are vertically inclined stones with a capstone on top with no obvious entrance, whereas a passage grave and a corridor tomb both have stone entranceways. The tombs at Garaf were built over a period of about 1500 years, starting about 3000 BC. Some of the tombs were built from smaller stones that could probably be carried by one man. This is tomb number 111, and it's um, one of the medium sized tombs. These slabs, you can imagine half a dozen people being able to lift them up. It's presumed that the size of the tomb related to the importance of the family that built it or the person that was interred within it. One of the larger tombs had the bones of 20 individuals within it and it was obviously used for repeated burials over an extended period of time. By about 4800 BC, the Neolithic people in the Iberian Peninsula had occupied most of the prime agricultural land and their populations were increasing. It became important for them to demarcate their own territory. This is grave number 110. It's another of the middle-sized graves and it's one of a group of six that are high up on the ridge above the River Gore. And it's thought that the impetus to build these graves was as a direct result of their need to demarcate their own land. There is still much to learn about the people that lived and died here all those years ago. And a good place to start is the Megalithic Interpretation Centre in the village of Garaf. We're actually on top of that interpretation centre. It was built in the form of a dolmen so that when you enter it, it looks as though oh, you have the impression that you are entering a passage grave. A mirador on the top allows you a fantastic view of the valley. This interpretation centre was opened in 2011. And here's a final thought for the day. Julie and I have been here many times and we have wandered round and poked around up on the hills and up on the plateau. And it's an observation really, but most of the small and medium sized tombs seem to be on the plateau, right on the top of the valley sides. The larger tombs seem to be on the steps, the terraces, just down from the top of the valleys. Just a thought.